Hey everybody, welcome back. So, lately, a lot of news about the Halo TV series has been making its way around the net. To be honest, I've been avoiding talking about it since... Let's face it, there really isn't much to talk about. As I'm sure you've guessed, that has changed. So, let's start with the, uh, lesser news, for lack of a better term, and work our way toward what prompted me to make this video. Last week, Microsoft unveiled details for its Xbox original programming, which was officially announced back at E3 2011. Among a list of planned shows were details concerning the Halo TV series and the recently announced Ridley Scott Halo production. IGN was able to attend a media event about Xbox's programming plans, which was followed by a Q&A with the head of Xbox's entertainment division, Nancy Tellum, and the head of content creation, Jordan Levin. Concerning the Ridley Scott production, officially billed as a quote-unquote digital feature, IGN asked if the feature could be compared to Halo 4, Forward into Dawn, to which Tellum answered in the affirmative. When asked about an episode count and series structure, Tellum simply said the project was a digital feature. When details about the series were published last month, it was confirmed that the feature wouldn't be about the Master Chief, but would feature Spartans. So, Blue Team, Majestic, or something entirely new? Who knows? It is worth mentioning that a second Halo live-action series was among the details leaked to NeoGAF back in January. According to those leaks, editions of Halo 2 Anniversary would include exclusive access to a second Halo live-action series unrelated to the Steven Spielberg production. Looking back over the details of these leaks, the poster was right about a number of details, though not always 100%. For example, he got the release dates of Titanfall DLC wrong, along with the launch date of Xbox One in Japan. He was also a little off about a supposed Titanfall Xbox. The image released wasn't of one that made its way to market, but instead was an exclusive for Respawn employees. On the other hand, along with this second Halo live action series, the leaks reported that Halo 2 Anniversary would feature multiplayer. Not long ago, Phil Spencer said that if Halo 2 Anniversary did happen, it would include a rebooted multiplayer. All in all, I still have serious doubts about Halo 2 Anniversary, but one cannot help but wonder, given what we've heard as of late. The Halo digital feature would be produced by Scott Free Productions, with Ridley Scott and David Zucker as executive producers. Sergio Mimika Gezan is slated to direct. For those unfamiliar, Gazon has directed episodes of Battlestar Galactica, directed the TV adaptation of Pillars of the Earth, and worked on the Sarah Connor Chronicles. I loved the latter two mentioned series, so it's certainly exciting news. Now, onto what I feel to be the bigger news. During that same Q&A session, Tellum was asked about the Halo TV series. She reported that they're still building the production team, but no showrunner, director, or writer has been selected as of yet. I would probably guess that the digital feature, if it isn't directly acting as an advertisement for a Halo game like Forward Unto Dawn did, may be a sort of filler until the Halo TV series is ready. Finally, details were recently revealed that Microsoft is deep in talks with Showtime to release the Halo TV series on the premium cable channel. Not much is known, but according to a report from Variety, the current plans would be to release the episodes on Showtime first, with a later release on Xbox TV. But perhaps more interesting is that the version released on the Xbox One would feature quote-unquote interactive elements, though what that means is unknown. Still, the idea sounds pretty exciting. What sort of interactive elements could the show bring beyond pointless achievements? Could it be as simple as on-screen questions and answers, not unlike what Microsoft did during the broadcast of the presidential debates? Or could we be looking at actually affecting the outcome of an episode? Who knows? Well, that about wraps it up. There's a lot of Halo TV action coming out later this year and in the years to come. I've talked in the past about Halo's live-action legacy and the impact it has had on gaming and game advertisement. It looks like Halo is ready to make another impact. As has been the case in the past, Halo is not the first to take this step. However, I feel it's going to have a lasting impact on production of video game properties. Maybe I'm being biased. I'm, I'm probably being biased. Well, anyway, thanks for watching as always. Keep your eyes open, because I'll have an announcement later this week. This has been Halo Cannon. I'll see you next time, Spartans.